Our penalty kill has been uh, terrific all year long. We're one of the better teams in the league, and we put ourselves in a very difficult situation, though, in a game like this to uh, take a double minor. I don't like that. That's uh, something that I've already addressed with the player, but the, the penalty killing really stepped up. We've had some difficulties in the last three, four games with it, but tonight I thought it was very, very good. McGinn and Newberry were both solid tonight. What do you like about the two of them together? Just good chemistry with that line, Akis in there. There's, there's a chemistry that's starting to come back the way it was coming out of the training camp uh, early in the season. Uh, there was a couple of call-ups. McGinn was up, Newberry was up, so it kind of got lost in the shuffle, starting to come back. And there's, uh, as you see, they can they can play very well in the offensive zone, get some attacks, get some scoring chances. And Akison's goal was uh, was just a terrific goal. What can a win like this and playing in a building like this do for your players to move up to the next level? It's all about comfort, you know. I think a, when you start bringing, as an example, you bring the 18-year-old out of junior and they come to their first training camp in the big facility and they're around the the pros they 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 learn very quickly from those guys over a two-week period as how they how they deal with themselves how hard they have to work and it's an environment that's very uh has a big impact on how you how you approach the game and coming here today i think is a it's a wonderful thing for the young players to be able to go through this experience. The Flyer fans have, to me, have always been the number one fans in, in, uh, in hockey. And the support here today, 15, 16, 17,000, whatever it was, was, was terrific. And it's a, uh, it, it gives the, the adrenaline a little bit of uh, a shot. And I think we saw that in some pretty good play here today. Were you impressed with the way they came back uh, in the third period after sort of obviously having that bad second period? Well, I liked the second period, actually. I thought we killed. That, that was huge, the penalty kills. And uh, we got through that with, with strong play. We had a lot, of, uh, a lot of momentum built off of that. We brought it into the third period and scored some very timely goals. The, the Bordson, Vandeveld, Holmstrom line set it all up for us with incredible shift. They draw that penalty, and they took the game over from there. Can you talk about the play of your goalie Heater? He wasn't tested too much, but he's still was fairly consistent. Yeah, Heater's played uh, well. Uh, his game is, is moving in the right direction. I think his... Uh, Probably the quality that has really improved over this year has, has just been the, the emotional, mental side of the game. He's, he's much more consistent in how he comes to the rink every day. And with the work that the Flyer organization gives to the goaltenders and the attention that they get, the this small detail part of the game is getting to be more consistent. There's a lot of pucks that used to come off. Both are off uh, heat area back into play, and I, I'm seeing more absorbed now, more caught now, and that really settles the young team down very quickly. Do you expect him to compete for a job with the Flyers next season? I expect him to be a top goaltender in the American Hockey League next year. Will he compete? Of course he'll compete. He's going to come to the training camp, and he'll be given some looks, probably get a couple of exhibition games, but... There's a, there's a great opportunity for him to really establish the game in the American Hockey League, become an all-star at this level, and you know go through the progression, go through the progress uh, or the, the process of moving up into the next level, and that is a huge step. The, 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 the time that you're spending right now, I think you have to really embrace it, work hard in the trenches and earn your right to play up there. And that's, that to me is, is starting to head in the right direction and that'll take more time.